So to remind you, we were talking about the staff, the five parallel horizontal lines that we use to represent pitch, and that you have to have a clef at the beginning, a letter to show us what the staff is going to indicate. One of the most common things was to put the letter G on the second line from the bottom so that the G, the, uh, the horizontal line here, hit the second line from the bottom. And that told the musician that was going to be a G. But this is back in the days of uh, everything being done by hand and getting more and more ornate. You've seen cursive Gs, you know what they look like. The thing became so loopy and out of control that eventually it started to look like this right here, which really comes from the letter G. And you see how this winds around this place right here? It's still telling us the second letter, second line from the bottom is a G, and that is called the treble clef, T-E-R-B-L-E. The word treble actually means high, because this is the clef that instruments that play relatively high, the clarinet, the flute, the violin, the woman's voice, the right hand of the piano, all read off the treble clef that you see there. Now, how do you know what those notes are? Here's our treble staff, and we said that this guy is a G. Now, if you counted, you could say G, A, B, C, D, E, F, or you count backwards, G, F, E, and you could successfully find those. And I have some students that still do that. It's very slow, it's very laborious. It's much better to memorize E, G, B, D, F. And of course, musicians in English speaking countries forever have learned every good boy does fine. In England, they say every good boy deserves favor, or sometimes every good boy deserves fudge. And of course, there are other acronyms you can use to learn this. But the lines on the treble staff are E, G, B, D, F. And that's one of the first things you need to memorize and remember. Now, here's the warning. E, G, B, D, F only works for the treble clef. We'll learn another clef soon. E, G, B, D, F only works for the lines. Notice that there are spaces here where notes could go also. And E, G, B, D, F only works from the bottom to the top. Don't get confused on that. And then a fourth thing is once you go above or below the staff, doesn't work anymore. Doesn't start over, you have to just count when you go up and down. So, every good boy does fine. Only the treble clef, only the lines, only from the bottom to the top, and actually only on the staff, not above or below the staff. Well, what about the spaces? Well, you could say that was E and that was G, this must be F, which it is. G and B, I guess that's A, it is. B to D means the guy in the middle is C, and then D to F means that's an E. So that is correct. That means those are F, A, C, E. Are we lucky that spells a word face? We all speak English. So we can remember that the treble spaces are F, A, C, E. Remember, only the treble staff, only the spaces, only from the bottom to the top, and only actually on the staff, not above or below. So let's take a look at this chart and see if you can name what these notes are on here. You remember that the lines are every good boy does fine and the spaces are F, A, C, E. So I'm gonna work through these. If you would like to uh, practice, then you can um, turn off the sound or pause the video and work these out for yourself, but I'll go over them together. I'll work them uh, out loud for you. So number one, let's say the first line of the treble staff, E, G, B, D, F, that must be an E, and it is. Number two, the second space, spaces were F, A, C, E, that's an A. Number three is the one, two, three, fourth line, every good boy does, does start with D, that's a D. Number four is the second line on the treble staff, and the treble clef, remember, is the G clef, is telling us that's a G, or I could remember E, G, every good, and find that one. Number five is the third space on the treble clef, 
And the spaces were F, A, C, E. So that's a C. Number six is the fifth space, fifth line rather, on the treble staff. And that means it's every good boy does fine. So that must be an F, it is. Number seven is the third line, every good boy, a B. And number eight is the first line, every good boy does fine. Well, just every tells us that's an E. Now, number nine is the first one that's a little bit tricky because it does not um, fit on every good boy does fine. It's higher than that. So we have to count up and down a little bit. So the top line was F, and then the space above F, which would be this guy over here, is the letter after F, that's G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And once we get to G, we start over again with the letters. That, ma that makes number nine and A. And number 10 is also not on the staff, but below the staff. We remember that the bottom line is E from every good boy does fine. And so number 10 is one letter below E, so that's D. Number 11 is one letter above the top line. What was the top line? Every good boy does fine. Top line is F, so that was a G. This guy, hmm, the bottom line was E, then one below that was D, and this is even lower than that. And you notice we've had to add an extra line to make this work, because there are always going to be line space, line space, line space. So that line is called a ledger line, L-E-D-G-E-R. And that means this one, E is the bottom one, D is below that, and this must be a C. Number 13 is not too hard. F-A-C, that's a C. Number 14, let's see here. The top line, as we know, every good boy does fine. Sorry, the cursor keeps going away. It's a sneaky thing. F, above F on this space is G. Above G on that little line is A. And then this guy way above that is a B. Let's do that again. F on the line, G on the space, A on the ledger line, and B there. And this last one is a low one. We have to count a lot for that. Bottom line on the treble staff was E. E down to D, down to the first ledger line, which is C, then down to the space in between, which is B. This line is A, and then way down there is G. I'm going to name all of them again for you. E, A, D, G, C, F, B, E, A, D, G, C, C, B, and G.